One of the key applications of CoSpace's EDU is creating simulations. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of creating a simulation using physics. Let's simulate what will happen when two objects collide with different masses and velocities. For example, these two ellipsoids, which you can rename blue ellipsoid and red ellipsoid. To use physics in CoSpace's EDU, you'll need to enable physics for each item. You'll find various settings available here. Precise Collision will use the item's surface to calculate collisions. If you turn it off, the collision will be simulated by an invisible box around the item. Set Static makes an item keep its position but still collide with other items. Non-static items are affected by gravity and other forces in your CoSpace. Mass lets you set your item's mass value. Heavier items can push lighter items more easily. Here's where you can change the bounciness of your object. Finally, friction sets how much force there is between an item and the surface it touches. A higher friction will make an item move slower along surfaces. After you've set up physics for all ellipsoids and enabled their use in Coblox, create a new Coblox script. Let's make the ellipsoid move forward when it's clicked. Since this is a physics item, let's use Coblox from the physics category to make it move. Right at the top, you'll find the push forward with velocity Coblock. Place it into the when item is clicked Coblock and test what happens. Play around with the velocity and try different values. Let's set up a way to change the ellipsoid's velocity during the simulation. A good way to do this is by using text panels to create buttons with plus and minus signs. When these are clicked, it will increase or reduce the ellipsoid's velocity. Enable their use in Coblox and add when item is clicked Coblox. Declare a new variable called velocity and set it to 10. When a button is clicked, Add or subtract values to the velocity variable and insert this variable in the push with velocity coblock. This will let you change the ellipsoid's velocity during the simulation. You can add a text panel to display the current velocity value by using the set text coblock. Place it just after where you've declared the velocity variable and after every change coblock. You can now place more items for your blue ellipsoid to collide with and have fun playing around with your simulation.